Hello. Hello. Hi. Man, how are you? Oh yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm, I'm doing very okay. So how's your your trip? Yeah, my trip my trip was my trip was great. Yeah. So what was the what was what was the seminar about? Okay, it was um it was a summit actually. Okay. Okay, yeah. summit. Yes. Um it was a summit for just a second. So, Ebu. Yeah. So thank you thank you for being here to, for for being here today. Uh of course you you missed the the last uh, panel. You were supposed to be one of one of my my guests on that panel. But uh you were in Botswana. So Tell us what uh, did you go to do in Botswana and what uh, what what stories can you tell us? Okay, um, yes. Once again, I apologize for not making it to that panel. I looked so forward to having those conversations with the other minds on on the, on the panel. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I. <laughs> I had to be a guest at um, a delegate at the Forbes on the 30 summit in Botswana, right? So um, that was a really great outing for me. It was about 45 days of um, 45 days. Wow. Yes, yes, of conversing with um, young Africans who are doing phenomenally well, you know, around the globe, and uh, we had captains of industries from around the world um, come to speak to us. We were trying to evaluate the entrepreneurial opportunities in Africa. It's becoming obvious, like I said um, last time on the, on, the, on the podcast, that the attention of the whole world is drawn to Africa. Yeah. And part of the reason for this is our robust, vibrant collection of young minds, right? Who are serving the labor market the global labor market. So a lot of people are getting interested in what's happening in Africa, organizations, businesses, and Africa herself is opening up to foreign investment, to learning more from global communities, to that expansion. So I believe Forbes deemed it fit to have a platform where young African creatives and captains of industry will come to communicate network, get to meet each other while discussing key areas um, necessary for development of Africa. And I, I, I actually enjoyed the fact that Botswana was the location that was picked for, okay. for, the, yeah, for the summit because there are a lot of things to consider when you, when you look at Botswana, right? I, I did a thorough research, you know, background study on Botswana. I wanted to understand why the interest of Forbes was in Botswana. So I found out that the major source of um, revenue for Botswana, it's actually gold, um, diamond, wow. my apologies, diamond. Okay. Right. Yes. And also my research found out that the diamond in Botswana is um, estimated to run out by 2015. Mm. So it makes it highly imperative that they begin to expand the shores, you know, yeah. the shores and borders to other forms of entrepreneurial development to capture, you know, their potentials and all of that. So the summit was really a great opportunity for me to understand what's happening in other parts of the world. Yeah. Because I had lots of young people from different parts of Africa, young, young Africans from different parts of the world and uh, coming to share mm. their experiences, the products, their solutions, the industries that they are working to disrupt was phenomenal. Um, I came back with a resolution. Some of my friends were asking me, you know, what's your take home from this summit? I said, my conviction that Africa is ready to serve the world is more, more, pronounced after this you know summit because i got to see young people passionate about building africa i got to discuss with them on their solutions the kind of projects they are working on what is motivating them and i'm convinced that 
we we actually the solution to to a lot of the problems that the world is facing. I I do I, I do agree. Yes. Yeah. I do agree. We have the potential. I I I very much agree, and that's see this is why I I have this podcast because I want to talk. I believe Africa has so many potential leaders. We have a lot of leaders, but we still have a lot of potential leaders. You know, that's why I'm not I'm not looking to talk to the the normal political leaders on the podcast. No. I want people mostly young people like yourself. Okay? Yeah. Because I I see 